Hi, I'm Wendy Hefner, your city clerk for the city of Littleton. The 2015 election is scheduled for Tuesday, November 3rd. To register to vote, please contact your county clerk. This is an all-male ballot election. Voters should expect their ballots between October 12th and October 16th. The city has five council seats scheduled for the election. In District 1, your candidates are Bill Hopping and Brenda Stokes. The winning candidate in District 1 will complete an existing four-year term that ends in 2017. In District 2, Jerry Valdez is running unopposed. For the one four-year council seat in District 4, your candidates are Debbie Brinkman and Carol Brezak. The at-large race has three candidates seeking two positions. The candidates are Andrea Brown, Doug Clark, and Peggy Cole. The candidate receiving the most votes will serve a four-year term, and the candidate receiving the second highest number of votes will serve a two-year term. Littleton registered electors will consider 10 amendments to the city charter as recommended by the Charter Review Committee, a panel of 14 citizens who met for close to a year to review the city's governing document. The charter was adopted in 1959, and while it has been amended numerous times, until this past year, a comprehensive review has not been done in its 56-year history. For more information on the charter amendments, please view the document 2015 Current and Proposed Charter Language located on the City's website. Please feel free to contact the City Clerk's Office if you have any questions. And now, let's hear from the candidates. Hello, I'm Bill Hopping and I'm running for election to continue to serve you as the District 1 Council Representative. I'm proud to be a long-term Littleton resident. In fact, I graduated from Littleton High School. I subsequently became a hotel consultant and have operated my business on Main Street for over 15 years. During my time on Main Street, I've served on the board of the historic downtown Littleton merchants and have established lasting relationships with many of our Main Street building owners, shopkeepers, and business people. I also served on the city's Historic Preservation Board for 10 years, chairing it for three, and was involved in the negotiations that resulted in the Main Street Historic District that's been instrumental in Main Street's revitalization over the past 10 years. Since I was appointed to council in April to fill a vacancy, I've proposed a cash settlement option to our construction defects ordinance that was ultimately adopted by the full council. This provides an easier settlement option for disputes between contractors and homeowners. We've developed proposed cleanup to our city charter and have strengthened communication and outreach between the city and our citizens before deciding on legislation that could impact those citizens. Littleton is an increasingly popular city. In recent developments like improved river access, Breckenridge Brewery, our many brew pubs, an increasingly vibrant restaurant and retail scene have not happened by accident. They happen when a city allows innovation that's consistent with the city's vision. With this in mind, we have to make sure that our planning mechanisms are sensitive to the implications of both long-term viability and short-term change. My goal is to continue working to balance the forces between economic development and the character that makes Littleton so special. For example, we need to make certain that our zoning and design guidelines are compatible and enforceable while encouraging economic opportunity, and our citizens should have a, the opportunity to be involved in that visioning. I have a passion for this, and my consulting work enables me to see best practices between cities and development forces that result in strong long-term economic growth while preserving a city's special character. With your support, I can help bring Littleton a strong economic future while making our town an even more special place to live than it is today. Hi folks, I'm Brenda Stokes and I'm running for Littleton City Council for District 1. I have lived in Littleton for two decades where I've raised my four children in this beautiful, safe community. They all have attended Littleton Public Schools and as a family, we've seen Littleton change. 
Today, Littleton is far from its historic little western community. It is now home to over 44,000 people, and some of the challenges we face have to do with progress and balancing expansion and redevelopment while preserving Littleton's character, charm, diversity, and respect to property owners. For over 27 years in my professional career, I've been employed in ever-expanding job responsibilities from a young junior accountant to leadership and business advisory roles spanning internationally for Fortune 50 companies. I solve problems through data-driven processes and collaboration, and being elected to the City Council will enable me to ensure a balanced budget, follow smart growth guidelines, balancing housing, commercial, and real retail business while encouraging innovative revenue streams to Littleton. From my perspective, the three highest priorities that Littleton faces today are areas of responsible development, ensuring the lowest impact to the surrounding neighborhoods and sustaining the last vestiges of our precious agriculture and open space. Transportation and expansion of infrastructure should include safe pedestrian crossings, parking and bicycle paths, and of course, managing the budget, ensuring it's aligned with a solid vision, strategy, plans, justified with accurate supporting data analysis. My leadership involvement in the Littleton community includes working in youth activities, teaching at the School of the Blind, and I'm known to walk the neighborhoods to encourage dialogue when the voice of the citizens is needed to rise to the forefront. I have developed a deeper knowledge of the city business by blending what I've learned by knocking on doors, reviewing council meetings, minutes, and combing through city records. My leadership positions have, I've held, combined with my corporate and international experience and skills, give me the background to serve competently in the capacity of the city council. Vote Brenda Stokes for Littleton District 1, number two on the ballot. Hello, my name is Jerry Valdez. I am running unopposed for re-election to Littleton City Council District 2. As the current City Council District 2 representative for the last four years, I have been an outspoken voice for the residents living in District 2. For those of you that follow some of the proposed developments located in District 2, you know the challenges we have faced. I have represented District 2 to ensure that we have common sense property development. I have worked with the merchants and business owners on and near Littleton Boulevard and Main Street to limit and prevent interference by our local government. Although I do not have an opponent, you can send a strong message of support for common sense city government by voting for me. A vote for Valdez is a clear statement that you want limited city government. City Council creates the goals and objectives for the future of Littleton. The dedicated and professional city staff follow the direction of City Council to meet the goals and objectives as established by the majority vote of the council members. Make a statement and show your support for limited government intrusion and support for common sense development in District 2 and the entire city by voting for Jerry Valdez. And just like it was four years ago when I was selected to represent District 2, vote Valdez with an S, V-A-L-D-E-S. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Debbie Brinkman and I'm running for Littleton City Council in District 4. It has been my honor and privilege to have served you over the last eight years, and I'm asking for your support as I seek my final term. I've lived in Littleton for 13 years, and I do own my own small business. I work as an interior designer and an organizer. Politically, I'm a very, very strong advocate for the river, parks, recreation, and open space, and I am so proud of what we have accomplished. I also believe that a strong and diverse economy is very important for a community to stay healthy and vibrant. 
We need opportunities for jobs. We need a variety of housing options and a robust business environment. These are all key factors. And I am committed to making sure we are doing everything we can to support each of these. Littleton has always been a community with a great respect for the past and with an eye towards the future. And I believe that is what has built this very special place. There are so many exciting things happening in Littleton and I am committed to continuing to build a strong and thriving community that honors and respects our traditional values. I am the right direction with the right balance and that's what I bring to council and to you. My website is Debbie4, that's the number 4, Littleton.com. If you'd like more information about me, check it out. Also, if you'd like to contact me, my email and phone number are on the site. I'd be happy to speak with you. Thank you, Littleton. This truly is an honor and a privilege. Hello, I'm Carol Brezak, and I am running to represent District 4. I have lived in Littleton since 1963 and actively involved in local government issues for over 10 years. I own and operate a small business located in Littleton. This is an important time for Littleton. The stakes have risen over the last few years with the approval of several high-density apartments and the approval of four expansive urban renewal plans that will forever change the character and quality of life in our small city. I have been active in my efforts to secure a future for Littleton that I believe most voters share. My efforts and sponsorship of the past three citizen-led initiatives resulted in your approval at the ballot box. Because of the ballot measures, citizens now have more say in zoning decisions, council can rarely meet in secret, and Littleton voters have a voice in urban renewal decisions that impact our property rights and our tax dollars. I have been on your side with each of these critical citizen initiatives. I am aware of the issues and challenges facing Littleton and I can represent you. I believe it is important as Littleton develops and redevelops that we protect our existing neighborhoods, our downtown, and what are important attributes of our city, such as low density, low crime, parks, and open space. We need to be selective about what we approve and make certain it fits our vision and enhances the future of Littleton. Urban renewal projects will come to council for approval. I will work with my fellow council members to carefully consider the full impact of urban renewal on taxpayers. Citizens are being marginalized. When council removed the opportunity to be on their agenda, they limited our opportunity to address them to four minutes. The council president is now considering further limiting us by reducing our four minutes to three. Communication has to be a two-way conversation. I want to hear what citizens have to say, and three minutes is not enough. For those that live in Trailmark, your issues have been neglected for years. Your representatives have come before council with grave concerns over emergency response times. You deserve a real solution. You have waited too long, and I will work with you and represent you. I believe that our government should be open and transparent, that your representatives should represent you and your concerns. I have worked as a citizen to achieve that, and I will continue to work for that as your elected representative. Please visit my website or call me and let's talk. www.carolforcouncil.com Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea Claire Brown and I'm running for Littleton City Council as an at-large representative. This is my first time running for political office and one reason I'm doing so is that I finally have the time. My youngest of three children is in college at CSU, and I teach part-time robotic, uh, robotics and electronics. So I look forward to being able to serve the community that I love in a more direct way. I've lived in Littleton for most of my life. I went to Centennial Elementary, Goddard Middle School, and Littleton High School. I've seen so many changes in this town, most of which have been very positive, some of which not as much. I love the vibrancy and vitality of Main Street, I remember as a new driver having to stop for trains while heading down that street. I, do, um, I don't, don't like some of the high density housing developments that have been approved or proposed, and I'm concerned about the expense and means by which the Riverfront Festival Center came about. I have quite a varied background which I believe would be an asset in serving Littleton. 
I have an undergraduate degree from CU Boulder in the business school, and while raising my kids, I slowly worked on another undergraduate em emphasis in biology, a teaching certification for secondary science, and a master's degree in curriculum and instruction for science, all from CU Denver. In my pro professional co career, I managed a conference center, a hotel sales department, while also coordinating large groups of women in a volunteer capacity. And I volunteered teaching health and other things in women's schools in Haiti many times. While in college, college I even computer programmed for the Denver Broncos. Another strong asset I have is that my candidacy did not originate from any of the rival and sometimes contentious groups who have differing opinions about how this city should grow and be governed. I sometimes don't understand the heat of these disputes because I believe we all want the same thing. That is, a balance of growth resulting in sales rev revenues that we need, safety and close community that we want, while maintaining open space and parks that we enjoy. I think I could be the voice of reason in the midst of conflict. I have been actively watching city council meetings and study sessions, and I'm aware that I must continue to do my homework and most of all listen to all the different, differing opinions out there. Lastly, I think some new blood wouldn't hurt. Thanks for listening, and if I am chosen to serve, I promise I will do my best. My name is Doug Clark, and I'm running for one of the two at-large council seats that are up this November. I believe your government should publish written minutes of the council meetings so that you know how your elected representatives voted on issues. I believe the council and its staff should hold their meetings within the city limits so that you can attend those meetings rather than holding their meetings in Denver. I believe your elected representatives and the people they appoint should read the stuff that they're voting on before they vote on it. I believe the business of the city should be conducted in the open at public meetings as the law requires instead of by email and two-on-two -two meetings of council members. I believe that competitive bidding on contracts, bonds, and large purchases is necessary to protect the citizens' money and to prevent corruption. I believe that raising taxes and fees to pay for projects while the city has millions of dollars in reserves is wrong. I mention these specific items because these are issues that are currently taking place with this council, or I should say with the majority that's on the council. I'm in favor of careful, thoughtful development and redevelopment that protects our existing neighborhoods and conserves our remaining commercial parcels. I'm in favor of economic development policy that prioritizes the growth and the creation of high paying jobs for the benefit of citizens. I'm in favor of keeping spending under control and carefully appropriating your tax dollars. I'm opposed to subsidizing the construction of new apartment complexes or cramming a six-story apartment complex into an existing single-family detached neighborhood. I've served on the city council for two terms and as mayor for two terms. I am proud of my record of representing citizens and their issues and concerns, which you can actually check because the council kept written minutes of their meetings when I was on the council. I ask that you please vote for me, Doug Clark, for your at-large representative this November. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Littleton has been part of my heart and soul since 1968 when I began teaching at Arapahoe Community College. I love Littleton's small town character with its friendly neighborhoods, parks, trails, and open space, and outstanding amenities. It's a great place to live, work, play, fall in love, raise kids, do business, shop, eat, and retire. But Littleton's most important asset is our citizens. To ensure that we will thrive, not merely survive, we need a city government that is based upon cooperation and interaction with the people, a government that treats everyone with respect, even when they disagree, a government that encourages people to ask questions and share their ideas. We are likely to have some challenging decisions to ensure that Littleton remains a wonderful place to live. Working together, 
we can achieve whatever we set our minds to. My priorities are interrelated, fiscal responsibility and accountability, economic and social vitality, transparency and open government, and preserving what citizens love about Littleton and their neighborhoods. I am walking as much of the city as my time allows in September and October to hear your ideas. If I don't get to where you live, please email me or call to share your ideas. Working together, we will thrive. A vote for me is a voice for you. Thank you. Thank you.